Rahmatullah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, students. I hope you are doing well. So today I am going to explain the atmosphere and wind. Atmosphere and wind. Atmosphere is a layer or a set of layers of gases surrounding a planet or other material body. So dear students, atmosphere is a layer of gases or a set of layers of gases that is surrounding a planet. Right? Then the atmosphere of the earth is a layer of gases commonly known as air. So air is commonly known as layer of gases. The air around the earth is never still. It means it continuously moves. It is moving all the time. The moving air is called wind. Difference between air and wind. So students, I have make a difference between air and wind so that you can easily understand both of these. So let's start with air. Air is a combination of mixture of gases which includes oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and other that make up the atmosphere of the earth's surface. So dear students, air is a combination of mixture of gases which includes the oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and others that make up the atmosphere of the earth's surface. Whereas wind is also a form of air but it is in large quantity and moving in a speed, speed in bulk from one place to another. So students, uh, in our previous slide, we have learned that wind is a moving air. So, wind is also a form of air, but it is in large quantity and it moves in horizontally from one place to another. The only difference between air and wind is in their direction and quantity. The atmosphere protects the earth from becoming too hot. Dear students, in this slide we will learn that how atmosphere protects the earth from becoming too hot. So let's start. When rays from the sun reach the earth, they meet the air. They also meet clouds and particles. Some of the rays are reflected back into the space and some are absorbed by the clouds and dust particles. Then some of the rays pass through and heat the surface of the earth. The surface of the earth and the atmosphere also lose heat by radiating it back into the space. If this, did, if this did not happen, the earth would become hotter and hotter. It would become very difficult for plants, animals and human beings to live on earth. Dear students, when rays from the sun reach the earth, they meet with air, clouds and particles. So, some of the rays are absorbed by air, cloud and dust particles and some rays are reflected back into the space. So those rays which pass through them heat the surface of the earth. The surface of the earth and the atmosphere lose heat by reflecting the rays back into the space. So here is a reason if this did not happen the earth would become hotter and hotter and it would be very difficult for plant, animal and human beings to live on earth. Students, here is a diagram in which you can see that sun emits rays and the earth surface and atmosphere reflect back the rays into the space. So some of the sun energy is reflected from the earth surface or from the atmosphere. Most of the radiation passes through the atmosphere and is absorbed by the earth's surface and forming it. The warm earth emits longer wavelength infrared energy into the space. When the surface of the earth heats up, it warms the air near the ground. Warm air expands and becomes lighter than surrounding air and so it begins to rise. This rising current of air is called a thermal. Thermals are used by glider pilots and birds to float in air. When it cools, the air sinks towards the ground again. Dear students, thermal is basically the rising current of air. 
so when the surface of the earth heat up it warms the air near the ground so that warm air expand and become lighter than surrounding air so it begin to rise means the air move from higher concentration to lower concentration and this thermal is used by the glider pilots and for the float in air and again when the air cool it is start to sink towards the ground again i hope you have understand this topic thank you so much